Uh, my name is Katie Chang and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the NIH. I work in a group called the Advanced MRI Section and we study the brain using a technique called fMRI or functional magnetic resonance imaging. So fMRI is an indirect measure of the activity of the neurons. It actually detects changes in blood oxygenation across the brain. We've been scanning mostly healthy volunteers, looking at normal brain function, but I've also collaborated with a number of researchers from fields of neuroscience and medicine who are also scanning patient populations, and we can look at how, these, um, how the signals differ in patients with certain disorders. There's a lot of things we don't know about the brain in general, and I guess that's what makes every small step feel really exciting. We hope that um, the methods that we develop for analyzing the fMRI data and the better understanding that we get from using other recording technologies in addition to fMRI can give us a lot more insight into how the brain works and how it might be altered in certain disorders. NIH is a great place in general to do research. There's just so many resources and so much expertise. Um, feels like everyone is just doing really exciting research of their own and um, some of my most enjoyable times are sitting and talking with other people about ideas and especially people from many different backgrounds who may approach questions in different ways and um, we often come up with, well, if I'm feeling stuck about a problem, this is usually a really a great way to get unstuck and to think about what next step I might take. Um, but also we might come up with some completely new idea or project. I think I always liked science. Um, it's hard to find a moment where I actually said like, aha, this is what I want to do. Um, but I was always interested in, um, in learning how things worked. I think that the first science class that um, that really made me think I might want to go into science was a molecular biology class that I took in high school. And I remember learning about um, the process of how proteins are formed from genes and thinking that this is the most fascinating thing I'd ever read about. So I spend most of my day doing data analysis. So this will involve writing programs to help me analyze my data or to look at the data in different ways. Sometimes we actually also collect data, and this will involve um, scanning healthy volunteers. So I've been uh, studying in particular something called spontaneous activity, which is, you can think of it as the activity that's always going on in our brain, um, whatever we're doing. At first it was thought that this type of activity wasn't very interesting for fMRIs, but it's been found that this type of activity may actually be very important to understanding the brain. One summer during um, my undergrad studies, I, um, I decided that I wanted to try research and I hadn't really worked in labs before. It, I found um, an opportunity in a lab that studies consciousness and I thought that this was really interesting. Like, I didn't realize that people could actually study consciousness. So the students in the lab were designing simulations and doing mathematical modeling of brain signals and um, that just really intrigued me. I ended up studying um, computer science and electrical engineering as my major and I always had in mind that I might apply that someday to neuroscience research. Mm -hmm. At least in my engineering studies a lot of my friends who seem to be exceptionally good at building things or figuring things out or just had this nice intuition about how things worked um, were the ones who actually um, got their hands on electronic components and different parts and tried to build things or tried to take things apart. I would say that if you're inclined to do those sorts of things, just go for it and find other people who, are, um, who have similar interests. If you're curious about things, do what you can to find out the answer. Um, it may be talking to people, but there's also like, incredible resources on the internet uh, that wasn't available when I was a kid, and you can learn a lot on your own. Aside from science, I spend a lot of time playing music. I play the piano and the flute. I actually practice in the lab at night when everyone has left. And it's a very important part of my life and I feel like it makes me very happy. So I would like to be a professor. I enjoy teaching and um, I've had some really good mentors along the way so hope I can also be a good mentor for other people.